love you, I 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 love you, Hello, my lovely Aries. This is your monthly for July. This is for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs. I hope everybody is doing well. Look at that. Six of Swords moving on. But it looks like somebody is wanting to move on with you guys here. Aquarius energy. I feel like this person is wanting to like drive whatever conversation um, that they want to have with you. Let's see what these other two cards are that want to come out. Look at this. Ten of Wands. They want to carry the burden. They want to move this relationship forward. It could also be a Sagittarius or Cancer individual. Okay. But somebody is wanting to take the lead. I feel. Let's see what's going on around you guys. Eight of Swords. There's a lot that you have to think about. For some of you, this person has already contacted you, has basically, you know, put things out on the table for you, and is like, now you need time to think about things. There's a lot that has happened before with you in the past, and you really don't know if it's a good idea to move forward with this person, or if you can even, okay? Gemini energy there. Let's see what's crossing you guys. It's crossing Aries. The Knight of Wands. Hmm. This is all about moving back. Huh. Sagittarius energy. You know, it's like I feel for a lot of you, somebody is has either come back your way or is coming back your way has made contact with you or you're expecting this um, but at this point I feel like a lot of you are not really sure whether you want to give this another shot or give it a shot initially if you've never been with this person before um, but there's something that I feel like is affecting your decision that happened in the past with this person okay Let's see what the underlying issue is here. Hmm, Four of Pentacles. Hmm. Somebody's holding on to something. And both of you are probably holding on to something for different reasons though. I feel that the person that is coming in for you, um, or has come in for you, is holding on to you. But there's also things I feel that you cannot let go of, again, stemming from the past. So let's see what was going on in the recent past. What was going on in the recent past? We have the Hermit. I feel that this person probably has done something that, oh gosh you guys are really having a hard time getting past. I think that at one point you thought this person was the one. You thought they were the one. But there's something that you found out that kind of like shook your foundation. There was a tower, I feel, a tower moment that happened between you and this person. And it may have been something sudden. You probably weren't expecting for you guys to be apart, but something happened here. Your crowning thoughts. Your crowning thoughts. That's a lot of cards flipped over here. First one I see though is the lovers. Could definitely be a Gemini for a lot of you. Hmm. There's definitely love for this person, even though this card indicates a decision um, to be made whether it's between two people or whether it's just you choosing this person or not okay and then we have the two of swords again having to make a choice having to make a choice Libra energy you're really thinking hard about this I think right now you're trying to not think about it so much 
But at the heart of this is the Ace of Pentacles. So at the same time, there's something that you see in this person. There's something that that I feel deep down inside, regardless of the history, you feel like this could be something um, that could last. You really do. And you want it. You just don't know if you can trust this person though because here we have the Ten of Swords. And the Five of Pentacles. This is somebody you feel like deserted you. They deserted you. They rejected you at one point. They hurt you. Taurus, Gemini. I feel strong Taurus, Gemini energy for you guys. Um, for a lot of you. Could definitely also be a uh, Virgo, Sagittarius, Capricorn, but strong in Libra. Strong Taurus, Gemini for a lot of you. What's coming in for my Aries? Page of Wands, good news. Good news. I feel like um, you guys are really kind of, you're not really want to think about it too much. You're not trying to, trying to like really expel a lot of your mental energy. I think that you would definitely flirt with this person and even the idea of getting back with them because again, you see this Ace of Pentacles, the potential in this relationship. I just don't think you're trying to move too fast. I think you will entertain it though. Definitely entertain it. Could be another Aries Leo as well um, for you guys. Okay. Let's see. Okay. How you're viewing this situation. <laughs> I think this Eight of Cups is, is it worth it? Is it worth it? Do I want to revisit this? Do I want to do this again? Because I feel like this is something that you have gotten over. You walked away from, like emotionally left behind before. So, you're really thinking about, do do you want to do this again? Hmm. Do you want to put yourself in a situation with this person again for them to hurt you? What is the influence here? Seven of Cups. Don't know what to do. I feel like you guys have options. I feel like there are a lot of people looking at you. A lot of people noticing you. Um... <laughs> yeah, you definitely have options and you are flirting with the possibility of um, exploring those options, okay? This is not the only person, whoever this was that you thought was your soulmate or the person that you were going to be with, they're not the only person. Mm -mm. And you know this. You know this. Hmm. Your hopes or fears. King of Pentacles. I feel like you, you guys definitely do want that committed relationship. I think a lot of you want to be married. You want to settle down. You want to be secure. You want to feel like the person that you, you're with is going to be with you regardless. Take care of you in every way. Again, Taurus energy. Um, Capricorn too. Mm -hmm. What is the overall outcome for my Aries for July? Look at that, the devil. Hmm. I feel like this is a Capricorn person for you guys. I also feel like this is somebody that's very attached to you. Um, this person's very jealous. Whoever this is is very jealous. If they're not a Capricorn, this is their energy of being jealous and knowing that you have options. Even if this person has not seen you with anybody, they know what type of person you are. They know the aura that you exude. And this person, oh, they, they are ate up with jealousy, whoever this is. 
this is somebody that you strongly feel attached to as well like you cannot get away from this person and this is why you are so conflicted right now you're trying not to think about this you're trying to like put it out of your head but there's something that keeps you drawn to this person whoever that is for you they're coming back my Aries friends okay so that is what I have for you guys and I'll be speaking with you soon. Bye now. Uh, I've been blind too long, now I finally see The real and fake, who's down for me? The situation wasting my time I had enough, I'm tired of the lies Blah, 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 da-da-da-da-da What are you saying?